Hello my friends. This section of the aquaponics greenhouse I'm going to modify and what I'm going to do is convert this into horizontal tubes uh, to grow strawberries. So uh, an advantage of this will be um, if the flood system does give me any trouble where it might stick it will continuously have water flowing in the horizontal tubes. So there's been a couple times where that flapper will stick and you don't know that uh, it's wetting inside these tubes until you start seeing a plant drying up. So this is an experiment that I'm going to be trying and uh, it seems in theory that it should work pretty good. So let me get started with it. You can see here with the drip hoses, these tubes, this is the third system that I'm trying in this one area. So now I have to build the supports to hold the horizontal towers. I put tower supports in and I'm going to paint them white uh, before I wrap the uh, drain tubes on them. And you want to use white on everything to brighten it up. You want to be able to reflect light that comes in. So if you paint everything white, it makes it real bright in here. And probably paint yourself white and reflect some light too. But uh, I'll get this all a coat and then I'll put the drain lines up on it. This is going to be the drain. I notched this out so that when it sits down on the bottom, there's not a chance of it plugging. It gives plenty of clearance. Okay, then it's going to run across at an angle. Once the first line is in, then I'm going to drill the pockets for the net cups. After you drill the hole, you need to deburr all the plastic edges. You want to make sure you don't get any of the plastic in the system. I don't have this connected, so I can remove it to clean. And that will fit the net cups. Now, what you need to do, this net cup, cup does not touch the bottom. You need to wick the water from the bottom, from the channel. So you need to make wicks. You can use uh, pieces of felt cut into strips, some uh, canvas, and here I just have this cotton cord. This will go down, sit in the bottom of the tube, and it will touch the water and wick it up into the plant. Once the plant gets more established, the roots will go down and touch the bottom of the tube, and the roots will then wick the water up. Now I'm going to place my cups about every six inches apart. This is drawing for strawberries. Now I'm using this uh, printed line on here. I'm going to use the edge. This is the center of my holes. <clears throat> so this will allow me to keep the holes drilled uh, uniformly. Okay, so I'm going to set this mark every six inches through the whole length of the tube. The hardest part is getting the plug out. This, I need to get a screwdriver to be able to push them.
this is what I'm using to hold the tubes to the structure. Plastic hanging tape, three quarter inch by a hundred. This uh, is used for plumbing to hold the lines and it's plastic that has holes punched in it. <clears throat> and let's take a look at what we have here. And it's good for 125 pounds is what it's rated at. Okay, here's the tape. Okay, you need about a foot of this. And I'm going to put this on either side. Need three hands for this. Solid as a rock. Here you can see how I put the straps on. I have one on each side to hold them into position, and then I have one on the ends to keep the elbows from sliding off since I'm not gluing them together. So unless there's a water leak, I won't glue them. Here you can see the horizontal tubes. There's six of these and they total 87 two inch pots. And what I'm going to use this for is growing strawberries. And it's from the alternative uh, flushing system here. And the advantage of this is you can have the tank being filled with a low trickle and then when it cycles it gives a pretty large water flow rather than a trickle and it gives a good saturation of the roots. So we'll wait to see the cycle and show the water flow. Here it just made its flush. And here you can see the water moving in this. And you can see here the water flowing in these tubes. This is still connected into the system here. So this flush system is working horizontal and vertical uh, grow tubes. Thanks for watching my friends. Bye bye.